Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. Okay, you guys, we have so much tea that I actually have the camera here. I usually when I do these drama videos, I just like hold it up, but there's too many receipts and too many things, things to read and there's just too much I have to say. So we're gonna just <laughs> put you right there, girl. I'm gonna read these receipts. I'm gonna respond. I have a lot to say about this subject and I'm gonna go in and go off. So if you love opinions, blunt, <laughs> you think I'm gonna back down? You think I'm gonna change my mind because of this? Hell no, girl, I'm gonna double down, girl. I have a lot to say, girl, because a lot of bullshit's going on today, and we're going to call it out for what it is. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, you guys. Let's start from the beginning. So. After weeks of karma being served to Haley Bieber, guess what? Haley can't take it. So this is what Haley does. Let me do a little reimagining. Reimagining? You know what I mean? Like, uh, let me tell you what happened behind the scenes. So this is Haley. <laughs> Karma is just too much for me to handle. <laughs> Selena, hi. Yeah, I know I've been allegedly stalking you and bullying you and allegedly copying you and treating you like shit. And but um, you know, and I, I, I know Karma has finally been coming to me and you know, in leaps and bounds. But can you do me a favor? Can you like uh, tell everybody to stop hating on me? You know, because the Karma is just too much for me to handle. <laughs> Okay, thank you, baby, okay? And you know what? Uh, I'll follow you on Instagram, and you can follow me, and we can pretend to be friends again. Okay. Okay, thanks, Alita. Love you, girl. <laughs> Bullshit. Okay, we're going to talk about this, girl. Okay, so let me read the screenshots. I have I screenshotted everything here on my computer. This is what Haley... Okay, so that's, that's what Haley said behind the scenes, allegedly. So this is what Selena put out today, this morning, okay? On her Instagram. Selena said, <clears throat> Haley Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she has been receiving death threats, which by the way, death threats are never okay. And such hateful negativity. Ah, uh, negativity or the truth? But okay, whatever. Negativity, okay, we'll call it that, even if it's just, it's just the truth, right? Mm. Um, this isn't what I stand for. Fair enough, right? Selena doesn't stand for that. Selena stands for um, positivity, right? Even if, I don't think it was negative. I think we were just, people were just, you know, treating Haley the way she treats everyone else, so. But we love a, we love a sweet little goody-goody two-shoes queen. But anyway, um, this, is, this isn't what I stand for. <clears throat> no one should have to experience hate or bullying. Well, you did for years, but okay. I've always advocated for kindness and really want this all to stop. <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm. So Haley Bieber manipulated, manipulated her victim, allegedly, into a poly, into kind of telling everyone to stop hating on Selena when Haley Bieber's been hating on you for years and her little bully friends, Kylie and everyone else. Hmm. What do you guys think? Do you think Selena's being manipulated or do you think Selena's just taking the high road and she wants us to stop because it's starting to look bad on her? You know what I mean? If she's, like, letting all this keep going and going and going. I do think Selena Gomez is a nice, kind, sweet person. But I think she's letting Haley walk all over her yet again, in my opinion. Just keeping it real. Um, I do stand with Selena. I do think she did the right thing. But I do think this makes her look like a doormat. I'm just keeping it real. You know, you can say, oh, she's trying to make peace. Uh, I don't know. And then the following each other are just so fake and... Uh, okay. Okay. So that's what Selena said. So then... Let's see. Oh. <laughs> okay. Then Haley put something on her Instagram after that. Okay. <clears throat> so this is what Haley said. Haley Bieber. I want to thank Selena for speaking out. Not really, honey, because you actually guilted her into doing it. Okay. As her and I have been discussing the last few weeks how to move past this ongoing narrative... Fuck you, Haley. Narrative. It's not narrative, it's the truth, but okay. Between her and I. The narrative. What? That you allegedly copied and bullied and, and um, stalked her and... It's not narrative, honey. This is fucking facts, allegedly. But anyway. The last few weeks have been very hard for everyone involved. Really? Not really, just you. But okay. <laughs> because karma came to get you, girl. <laughs> karma came to collect and you didn't like it collecting on you? Okay. Um... And millions of people are seeing so much hate around this, which is extremely harmful. Um, it's not really hate, it's the truth, but okay. 
While social media is, so inc is an incredible way to connect and build a community, moments like this only create extreme division instead of bringing people together. Haley, you are one to talk, sweetie. You've been bullying Selena for years, allegedly, and you've been, you're full of shit, and you, you, you didn't say anything. You thought this was gonna blow away. It didn't find blow over. So you went to Selena and said, please stop. Please tell him to stop. <laughs> now, death threats are never okay. But nobody was bullying you, sweetie. Okay, if, if you got some death threats, that's fucked up and wrong, and that's, that shouldn't have happened. But other than the death threats, everything else that happened to you was just karma coming to collect, sweetie. So if you don't like it, maybe you shouldn't bully, copy, and stalk people, allegedly. Maybe you shouldn't be a bitch, Haley, because the streets have been talking for years. You've been awful to people, Haley. And not just Selena, honey. Not just Selena, allegedly. A lot of people have been talking how you've been treating people behind the scenes, so take several seats, sweetie. Okay, Haley. Thank you. Um, things can always be taken out of context. They can, but in this case, they weren't. Um, or construed differently than they were intended. True, but in this case, they were not. They were true, allegedly. We all need to be more thoughtful about what we post and what we say. <laughs> Including myself. Okay, yes, girl. Inclu definitely yourself, sweetie. Sweetie. Okay. Look in the mirror and say it to the mirror, sweetie, because, okay, thank you. In the end, I believe love will always be bigger than hate. True. We love Selena and we hate you, Haley. Okay. And negativity. And there is always an opportunity to meet each other with more empathy and compassion. Honey, you need to say that to yourself, sweetie, because you need to have more empathy and compassion. Instead of um, when karma comes to collect, you're running to your victim, allegedly, and trying to tell her to, to make it stop. And the whole fake following. Okay, you follow me. I follow you back. And we'll be fake friends so everyone can stop hating on me. Girl, bye. We, I don't believe it. Haley and Selena are not friends. They never will be, honey. You're boinking her X-Man, honey. Um, and Justin's only with you for pity. And there's a rumor that he only married you, allegedly, to stay in the country. That's a whole other, whole other story, girl. That tea, girl. You want that tea? I just build it, girl. There's a rumor going around that it's just only married you to stay in the country, girl, because he's a Canadian citizen. So, <clears throat> anyway, girl, allegedly, though, um, Justin Bieber wants a boring bully as a wife. Go ahead and ha enjoy that instead of beautiful Selena. But Selena doesn't even need you anyway, or Justin. Selena's good. <clears throat> She's good. She's thriving. She's doing her little thing and working it. She's thriving. Haley, what are you famous for? Because your father's famous, or used to be like 30 years ago, and your husband's famous. And what do you do? You're some, um, I wouldn't even call you a model. Uh, what are you? Oh, yeah, you have that shitty skincare brand, allegedly. Mm. And no one really talks about. Oh, yeah, the Jeffy threw the trash. Yeah, that one, yeah. That's the first time I heard about your, your skincare is when Jeffy threw the trash where it belongs. So, anyway, sweetie. So that's what I have to say about that. Uh, so let's conclude this video. Uh, Haley Bieber is absolute trash. Selena is a queen. I do think Selena is just doing this to kind of end this and move on and kind of like not condone so much. I hate, not, not hate, but I think people were coming so hard for Haley and it started to look a little bit bad. Like Selena was kind of like, you know, condoning it, and Selena's just saying she's not condoning it. So, fair enough. I don't think if that was hate, but I think it was just karma, but if you want to call it hate, we can call it hate, but it's just it's called karma, in my opinion. It's called reap what you sow, sweetie. It's called you made your bed lay in it, sweetie. Anyway, I think karma came, but okay, fine, fair enough. It's time for karma to come, kind of go, go, go back to hiding and wait for the next person to come, to come for. There's plenty in Hollywood, sweetie, sweetie, plenty to come. But now we all know who Haley Bieber is. The mask has been lifted. We all know that she's not, not only is she useless, a bully, a stalker, um, a, a, a perpetual victim, and an uh, irrelevant, boring, dud, and awful, hateful person herself. But yeah, she has no basis to even be famous. Why? Because she's uh, laying underneath Justin every night. That's why she's famous. And because her father used to be famous like 30, 40 years ago. Why? Because you were in a Cody Simpson music video like 10 years ago. That's why you're famous? No. Anyway, Haley, go back to being irrelevant. No one cares about you. You're boring, basic, awful, disgusting, and we can see through what your little manipulative, your manipulative tactics 
Um, Selena did the right thing at the end of the day. I think the following was a bit too much for me. I, I think you should just wrote the statement and moved on. I think the following is a little bit too fake, in my opinion. The statement, fair enough, I guess. Personally, I wouldn't have made the statement. I would have, I would have let <laughs> Karma keep collecting for the rest of her. <laughs> Hayley Beaver's life, girl. But, I mean, hey, Selena, maybe you're just a better person than all of us. Maybe you're just a beautiful queen and you're a, too good of a soul. And that's why we love you, girl. You're, Selena's just too good for us. We, we, we love you, Selena. And Haley. Exactly. That's what I think about Haley. I roll. Like, to the depths of my brain. That's Haley. Girl, bye. Like, ugh. <laughs> she gives me not. Literally, when I think of Haley Bieber, I want to take my emotions take this medicine because I feel like nauseous when I think of Haley Bieber. She literally provides nauseousness for the world. Haley and uh, Selena, we love you. Anyway, I've, I've set it up about this. Thank you for liking and subscribing and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation. Did Selena do the right thing? Does this change how you think about Haley Bieber? What do you think about this thing? Was it bullying or was it karma? I think it was karma. <laughs> anyway, what do you think? Leave me a comment, like, and subscribe. Mwah! Until next time. Bye, guys.